Aviom's Pro64 version of ANET simplifies digital I.O. connectivity and provides a simple interface for sharing channels between multiple Yamaha consoles. The 6416 Y2K ANET's interface card allows the creation of flexible digital snakes and audio networks. You can use the card to connect multiple Yamaha consoles, share audio, create splits, and enhance signal routing capabilities. Aviom also supports direct remote control of our high-quality 6416M microphone preamps right from the Yamaha console. This video will give you an overview of how to set the MY card mode, set the network control master and clock source, set the Pro64 network mode, and set the ANET slot ranges for inputs and outputs to the network. We'll also cover how to install the cards into the Yamaha console and basic Yamaha console configuration. Let's look at the components of the card. The 6416 Y2 card features two Pro64 ANET ports on EtherCon connectors, a VDC port, a number of status lights, and dip switches that provide the same flexibility as our standard rack-mounted Pro64 I.O. devices. Before the card is installed into the console, we need to configure a few settings first. All of the configuration settings on the 6416 Y2 card are controlled using these dip switches. This block controls VDC settings and MY modes. This block has settings for remote control of the 6416M mic input module. The next group controls Pro64 transmit and receive settings. These two blocks control channel activations for channel 1 through 16, and the final one controls additional VDC settings. Let's get started. For this example, we'll be configuring the card to transmit and receive 16 channels between the Pro64 network and the LS9 console. The first step is to set the card's mode. The standard MY card slot for a Yamaha console allows you to transmit and receive 16 channels simultaneously in the MY16 mode. MY8 mode reduces the channel count to 8x8 for compatibility with a PM1D or to use the card at 96K. To set the card to MY16 mode, flip dip switch number 10 into the on position. Let's set up the control and clock master for the Pro64 network. You can use either a Pro64 device or the Yamaha console to generate the clock. To set this card as the control master, put dip switch number 12 in the down position. If the 6416 Y2 card is the control master, select off for auto or on for manual mode using dip switch number one. We'll be using auto mode, so we'll set the switch in the off position. Next, set the ANET slot ranges for audio I.O. and activate the channels you want to transmit into the network. We'll set this card to receive slots one through 16 from the Pro64 network, so dip switches number seven and eight need to be in the off position. Then we'll set the card to transmit slot 17 through 32 from the console back into the Pro64 network. So we'll set dip switch number 5 into the on position and leave number 6 in the off. Once we have the transmit slot range set, we still need to decide which of the possible 16 channels we want to be transmitted from the console to the network. Since we set the card to transmit on slot 17 through 32, Setting these dip switches to on will activate channels 17 through 24 and 25 through 32. We're going to activate all 16, so I'll set all the dip switches to the on position. Let's install the card. The card is static sensitive. Please handle it by the edges. Start with the power to the Yamaha console off. Remove the mixer's power cord. Remove the cover plate on the rear of the expansion port to expose the card slot. Slide the card into place, aligning the sides of the card with the support guides in the expansion slot. Press the card firmly in place. Attach the card permanently by tightening the two thumb screws. Then go ahead and reattach the AC power cable and connect the card to the rest of the ANET network with a Cat5 cable. We're now ready to configure the console. We don't have time in this video to cover signal routing for every Yamaha console, but the basic operations and concepts are common. Each console's expansion slots have default routings, 
On the LS9, any audio coming into the console through the expansion slot is routed to faders 17 through 32, but this can be changed to suit your needs. Looking at the channel strip, this field shows the default routing. Each mixer channel has one Pro64 slot assigned to it. By selecting a channel's routing and pressing enter, we can make changes as needed. To change the routing, simply select another slot number and press enter to confirm. If an external Pro64 device is used as a clock, we must set the console to receive this clock. To do so, access the word clock settings on your console. Please note that the card will appear as an MY16 device. Select one of the channels of the expansion card and press enter. Confirm the change by selecting OK and press enter. The console is now set to receive word clock. As you can see, using the 6416 Y2ANET card with Yamaha consoles opens up a world of possibilities in digital audio connectivity. Whether you're designing a simple digital snake or an extensive audio network, the combination of Pro64 and Yamaha digital consoles offers unmatched simplicity, flexibility, fidelity, and reliability. There's a lot more information available, including sample systems, on our website at avm.com.